You don't like to bring your family to fights that you feel like are gonna be a war. Do you feel like this is a, fam a, a fight that you'll bring your family to? What's good, fight fans? Welcome back to the channel where we bring you all the latest boxing drama, spicy beefs, and of course, the biggest upcoming fights. Today, we are breaking down the final face-to-face -face between Gervonta, Tank Davis, and Lamont Roach before their December showdown. And trust me, things got explosive. If you thought these guys were just gonna shake hands and keep it civil, you are dead wrong. So buckle up, grab your popcorn, and let's dive into all the tension, trash talk, and fiery moments that went down on Dazen. All right, let's start with the man of the hour, Gervonta Davis. This dude walks into every room like he owns it. And why wouldn't he? He's undefeated, has highlight reel knockouts for days, and carries himself with that swagger that just screams confidence. But when he showed up for this final face-off, it was like the room couldn't handle the weight of his ego. Tank rolled up in a custom designer tracksuit, flashing his eyes, making sure everyone knew he was the star. He didn't need to say a word. The body language alone was screaming, I'm here to end careers. And you know, it wasn't long before that classic Tank attitude showed up. He didn't waste any time getting in Roach's face, sizing him up like he's already picturing the KO shot that's gonna make another viral clip. I know you say you want a, a, like pretty much everybody, but specifically, who do you want the most? This was classic Tank. He came to intimidate, to let Roach know that in his mind, this fight is already over. But Lamont Roach wasn't having it. And that's where things started to get really interesting. Now, let's not sleep on Lamont Roach. If you're not familiar with him, this is the guy who's been quietly building a reputation as one of the slickest counterpunchers in the game. He might not have Tank's power, but he's got the technical skills to make it a long night for Davis. And Roach walked into this face-off like he knew exactly what buttons to push. Every time you see me, it's what up, shawty, it's Desmond. You know how you talk. The fuck are you talking about, bro? I'm really him. I bring any type of smoke to anything in my way. The moment they stood face to face, you could see Roach wasn't intimidated. In fact, he almost looked like he was enjoying it. He was smirking, keeping his cool while Tank tried to get inside his head. Roach even threw some subtle shade at Tank's last few fights. You've been knocking out guys who ain't got no heart. Let's see how you handle someone who can take your power and give it right back. Oh man, you should have seen Tank's face after that. Davis wasn't used to someone standing their ground like that, and you could tell Roach had gotten under his skin. This wasn't just about boxing anymore. It was a full-blown mental war. People love a good rivalry, and this one just reached a boiling point. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, 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 what does he need to do to make this competitive? Don't trade with him. You gotta box. Box, move, time, up. But it's, it's difficult when you fight uh, tank. Now, this face-off didn't come out of nowhere. The bad blood between these two has been brewing for months, mostly over on social media. Tank, as we all know, loves to stir things up online. He's been calling Roach out, saying he's just another tune-up fight, and claiming that Roach doesn't have what it takes to hang with the top guys in the division. Roach fired back, telling Davis he's been fighting soft competition and hasn't been truly tested in years. And let's not forget, Roach has been throwing some serious shade at Tank's personal life too. He's been hinting that Davis's legal issues and time behind bars have made him weaker mentally, something Tank did not appreciate. So fast forward to this final face-off, and it was tense right from the start. Tank was giving Roach that stone-cold glare, like he was already picturing how he's going to fold him up in the ring. Roach? Completely unfazed. This dude looked like he's been waiting for this moment his whole life. And when I tell you the crowd went nuts, I mean, 
They were ready for these two to throw hands right there. Security had to step in because things were getting heated. Both guys were getting up in each other's space, talking all kinds of trash, and you could feel the tension through the screen. This wasn't just a face-off. It was a full-blown verbal fight. Now let's talk about what's on the line here. Gervonta Davis is the king of knockouts. His record speaks for itself, undefeated with a ridiculous number of stoppages. Most recently, we all remember that brutal body shot that crumpled Ryan Garcia like a lawn chair. Tank doesn't just knock people out. He makes a statement every time he steps in the ring. And that's what makes this fight so interesting. Tank is coming in as the heavy favorite. But let's be real. It's about showing the world that he's still at the top. Now, Roach might not have the one-punch KO power that Tank does, but he's a master at the technical side of boxing. He's a counter-puncher with incredible footwork, and he knows how to frustrate aggressive fighters like Davis. Roach has been studying Tank's style, and and during the face-off, he made it clear that he's not here to be another highlight on Davis's reel. On the upswing, like we're punching the ceilings, but nothing is feeling like anyone has any fucking ability to even stick to a subject is killing me. The inability to be humility. Hunt the bump on the back. Get him on the freaking the minute, got me thinking of finishing everything with a seat of minute, finish up in the village. If I'm asleep with the will again, and I'm thinking of thinking about an evil intent of another feed, I'm a killer again. Cause even if I got it in a feeding, we feel like it even ketamine, I'm at the fetamine with a mini tin, it better be at least 70 and 300 million. When asked about Tank's power, Roach didn't even blink. He said, power don't mean nothing if you can't land it. And that right there, folks, is the key to this fight. If Roach can avoid Tank's bombs and keep the fight on his terms, he might just pull off the upset of the year. But here's where it gets juicer. What makes this fight even more interesting is that this is not the first time these two are facing each other. Both these guys crossed paths multiple times during their amateur days. Um. The amateurs, silver gloves, everything. They grew up to actually do together, you know? Um, Roach and him, back and forth battles and whatnot. Um, it's gonna be a pretty interesting fight, you understand? Because there's more! Both fighters also sparred with each other once, and according to Kenny Ellis, Tank had the upper hand. Lamont and Tank have history. What, do you, yeah. what can you tell us about their history and how, how that's gonna play into the fight come fight Um. They got average history for maybe two or three times. Tank being a winner, they sparred a few times. Tank got the best of the spar. Um, they just bigger and stronger now, you know? Older. Now, but, it's some word out there that Lamont say, you know, he got some he got some films that, that don't make Tank look too good. Well what, what could that how could that affect, you know, the the, the outcome on December fourteenth? Shit, man, Tank, last four or five opponents all had film work about how they beat him up in his barn. If that's the case, that shit happened. But fight night, we all know the outcome. Eddie Hearn didn't hold back when he shared his thoughts on this epic showdown. According to him, there's just one little problem with these two stepping into the ring, and it's not what you'd expect. What do you think of the announcement of the Javante Davis Roach fight? Uh, I think that, you know, it's had a lot of criticism, but it's not a bad fight. You know, Lamont Roach is a world champion. He's smaller than Javante Davis. The problem is not many people are aware of, of who he is or, or his ability, but he can fight. I don't think it's a, a huge fight, but not a terrible one. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.